tidy, very quick video here. Um, we're just, a couple people asked me this: uh, what extensions do I use uh, when creating 5M scripts? Uh, so I have a couple things. I'm just gonna sort of run through them a little bit. Um, some I'll go a little more in depth, but um, not too much. So going in extensions, I have 22 of them installed. First one being this auto rename tag. And what this does basically is, uh, I'm just going to show you. So if I go into base, go to HTML. So your HTML div elements or even anything like this. Uh, if I were to change this to like a, a tag, for an example, I would scroll all the way down and look at it, it automatically changes it to an a tag, uh, just like that, which is great. So um, that's basically what that does. Um, Babel JavaScript. Um, I basically just installed this because I've been doing uh, React. Um, so if you're not really going to do React, you don't really need to do anything. As you can see, it, it, it uh, supports JavaScript, React, uh, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then we got better comments here. So you got like, uh, well, it says right here, alerts, queries, to-dos, highlights, and uh, so on. Uh, and you could type them just like this. Uh, yeah. So once again, I use that uh, mainly for other things besides 5M, but uh, you could use this for 5M if you really wanted to. And if you're working with multiple people, I would suggest actually using this for 5M. If you're on a server with multiple people, multiple devs looking at code, uh, this could actually help because uh, it sort of color codes everything for you. Uh, so I got React Native uh, Snippets, which, uh, I mean, just lets me get into uh, React code a little better. ES Lint. Um, to be honest, I really haven't used this that much not really gonna go over it no point um get history so you can see uh history of the git uh just through vs code just how it is showing it like right here html boilerplate which basically as you see you can just type it in here and it puts everything uh, already sort of set up for you ai is insisted uh, development so when you start typing stuff uh stuff will just start to pop up uh, and it tries to like auto complete stuff or give you suggestions basically. Uh, you got example usages and then JavaScript snippets, uh, which also works with TypeScript and TypeScript React, which is great. Um, so yeah, you got little snips right here, so triggers to what everything does basically. You can go through that all you want. Uh, JavaScript and NightScript, uh, your TypeScript nightly. Um, just TypeScript basically. Uh, JSX snippets is for React as well. Uh, live SAS compiler, uh, which I actually should have just used this. I should reuse this for elements in our 5M server, but I might go back and redo those in React anyways. So, uh, got a live SAS compiler right there. We have live server, which obviously uh, creates a live server that you're looking at uh, for HTML elements and such like that or at ipsum if i need basically uh to generate text it's just yeah i can just insert a paragraph and wow it does it for you crazy uh markdown all in one i forgot actually what this does let's see um it just mark just markdown stuffs and we can sort of see what it does here yeah it adds numbers to everything okay uh, icon theme, which is what the icons you see on this side right here uh, do. Those are what that is prettier, which is a code formatter, and you can set this up. Uh, I, I basically just have default. I think I upped my tab space by like two or something. Uh, SAS, which is just a better version of CSS, basically. Uh, the theme I'm using is Sublime Text 4. I, I used Sublime Text before this a long time ago. Um, I actually just really like their theme. Um, yeah, I just really like their team, to be honest. Not too much to say about that. Tailwind CSS, I have yet to use this. Um, and Sublime Material Theme, but I don't have this actually used. Um, 
the reason I don't use 5M natives, uh, so there is an extension if I go right here and I basically type in 5M. There are natives here, but I'd rather not use those. I'd rather just go on Google and uh, Google 5M natives. I would just Google 5M natives. If I had to search for something, this is just sort of how I would do it. Uh, because if I type like car in here, then it gives me everything. You know, it's just a lot easier uh, for me personally to use this. Plus, uh, none of this stuff really changes that much. So you could, I mean, basically when you code it for a while, you start remembering stuff or seeing how you could do it. But other than that, that is about it for that. So, like I said, quick video, nothing too special. But I will see you on the next, which is going to be, I believe we're going to do some changes in, I don't think we're doing any changes in base just yet, but we're doing something in the framework. Just don't know yet what yet. All right.